get to learn about triangles. I love triangles. Yeah. Um, um, guys, 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 you know it's not those kind of triangles. Triangle, it's a triangle. No, 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 no. And we're talking equilateral. Equilateral. Isosceles, scaling, oh. right? Can we get one of these that's right. isosceles? Oh. Right, let's talk. Oh. Let's talk. Okay, so we're going to be talking about how to classify triangles, and there are six types of triangles that we're going to be looking at. And triangles can be classified two different ways. They can be classified based on their sides and based on their angles. So first, let's look at triangles that are classified based on their sides. Okay, so the first type of triangle that we're going to look at is an equilateral triangle. And an equilateral triangle has all equal sides, hence the name equilateral, okay? all equal sides. And in order to show that this has all equal sides, I'm just going to put a little hash mark on each of the uh, sides. It tells me that all of these three sides are equal. The next type of uh, triangle based on sides is called an isosceles. And an isosceles has two equal sides. So we're going to draw a triangle with two equal sides. Now, this side and this side are equal. You may also hear the word congruent. Congruent is another word for equal. And this side is longer than the other two, so I'm going to put two hash marks here to show that this one is different. So this is called an isosceles. two sides equal. And the last one is called a scalene triangle. And a scalene has no equal sides. So I'm going to try to draw a triangle with no equal sides. Okay. So we're going to say that this side is one length this side is another length, and this side is a different length altogether. So this is called scalene, no equal sides. Okay, so again, there are three types of triangles based on their sides, equilateral, isosceles, and scalene. So you can also classify triangles based on their angles. The first type of triangle that you can classify is an acute triangle. An acute triangle looks a lot like an equilateral triangle, or at least this one does. So here we were looking at sides, now we're going to look at the angles. So looking at all three angles, you can tell that each of them are less than 90 degrees, which means they are all acute angles. So an acute triangle has all acute angles. Um, okay, so the next type of triangle is uh, classified by angles is an obtuse. And the obtuse triangle I'm going to draw is going to look a lot like the scalene. And an obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. So this is going to be our obtuse angle, which means it is greater than 90 degrees. Obtuse is one obtuse angle. Now, it would not be possible for a triangle to have more than one obtuse angle. So if there's one obtuse angle, the other two are going to be acute angles. But this just means it has at least one. And the last one is gonna be a right triangle. Now this one's really easy to draw. We should know that a right angle is 90 degrees exactly. Looks like an L. So here is our 90 degree angle, and so this is called a right triangle, which is one right angle. 
Now, every triangle can be classified two different ways. You can classify it based on its sides and based on its angle. So anytime you are classifying, it can have two different names. And that is um, all the triangles we're gonna be looking at. So make sure you have all of these copied down into your notebook. Okay, on the opposite side of your notes, I want you to try these. Um, you have three different triangles here that have been drawn. Go ahead and draw those out on your uh, notebook. And you're gonna classify each triangle based on its side and based on its angle for each one. So every single triangle should have two different descriptions. And you can refer back to your notes on the other side in order to help you. Guys, it's, it's not even a triangle. It's, it's not even a polygon. It doesn't have a 